Alright, so Alan, why did you choose it? Why? I, I like how it's like loving the person, and loving the iPod if you were loving a person. It looks like a woman. Mm -hmm. It does. It's kind of a depiction of how love an iPod. What do you think he's really trying to say, though, there? There's an, an interesting message. What do you think he's trying to say? And this is the work of Reggie, by the way, everybody. Reggie in the back. I, I think he's trying to say that make it, like, listen to the iPod, make it relax or something. Okay. Anybody else? Demetrius? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes the love of music could be like the love of a person based on the soul. Yeah, I think um, for him that his iPod is his his kid, his <laughs> baby. His iPod is his baby. Well, Okay, Joan and then Demetrius. Keep thinking of um, this song called Music and Me. <laughs> it was like he's reminding me of. <laughs> Can you sing a little bit of it for us? <laughs> I don't want it. It's an old Michael Jackson song called Music and Me. <laughs> Oh, right, I know this song, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, Reggie, what were you trying to say? Because you're really the, you know, the main creator. You're very, very uh, passionately working on these two pieces uh, that really combine um, the idea of, of a human being with another kind of object. And very often these are objects that bring us information, music, entertainment, the TV and the iPod. So what were you really trying to say? Oh, really? I wasn't really trying to say anything, but it's like, this, I mean, you see my drawings, um, pretty much, um, at first I just thought it's, you know, so she's pregnant? Yeah, can you all tell that she is pregnant? Yeah. Yeah. Or is it a little bit hard to tell? You got, you got it? You got it? Not time shuffle? <laughs> That's what it is, right? Okay, so it's a moment of intimacy, right? It's a lovely kind of a hug and a person, the man's head sort of nestled on the female That'd be a neck or shoulder. Hot and then when you have the idea to actually decapitate her <laughs> and put that icon in a really aggrandized form, uh, on her head, where her head would normally be, really, what were you trying to say? Because you kept trying to express to me all kinds of really interesting concerns of yours as you made this piece. It's pretty much, um, it's the children, where are the children of the next generation going to be? Okay. Because you see how they are now? Right, yes, it's, I do. Could you describe people. what you're talking about? Because maybe some people are unaware. Of well, this. okay, um, this is something I've seen before. Like, you see, like, little kids with more technology than... Yes. They possibly, possibly need. Then you have the mothers not taking care of their children because of. So they're too, too preoccupied with their technology. People don't drive. They're in cars and they're text messaging. Yeah, I see yeah people text messaging drive that on the cell phone. Crazy, yeah. In the street, just Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just walking. Walking like idiots. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> right, right. With their faces in right, the face, right, walking right, right, right out in the middle of the street. Right? Yeah. Yeah, and little kids too. <laughs> at my daughter's school, I see. I thought I saw children sitting at a table reading because I, in the corner of my eye, I thought they were reading. Yeah, but you yeah, thought I they were educated. I'm like, oh my god, they're not reading at all. They're all on these little things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. You know, and one little girl without one didn't have a book in front of her, and she was so out of it. Like she was so like it's just bored, and the rest of them are so intense, like in their own little world. But there are whole wars going on. Yeah, it's I, I like think feverish. Playing. Yeah. I think the sidekick is going to be down for about a generation. Yeah, it is. Hmm? The sidekick or any sidekick. tech engine yeah. core is going to be uh, down for about a That's a hard idea. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like people write the essays, they put. They put you in the Yeah. Or, um, what is it? They put the number two instead. Right, right. I get that all the time. And I just can't believe it. You just like my OMG. Right, right, right. Or B R B. Oh my goodness. Well, okay, so it's very apropos for our time, Reggie, and, and this is really good, this sort of transmutation of this humanoid figure. Uh, and you also included another element in it. 
you also included a third. Remember, everyone is actually doing two, but you actually included that marvelous sparkling smile up there, <laughs> right, in the screen. That's a smile. Great to see grin. Oh, to see grin there. The little chatterbox. Yeah. Uh, tell me why did you have to? Because you had to include it. Why? I don't know why, but like I said, I don't know, but I put teeth on my drawers. I don't know why. <laughs> It makes it maybe more human, and it also feels like it felt right yeah. to, to him. The human face, right? It's a That's right. It's great. Um, what do you think of the technique, everybody? Do you want to look up close? I mean, this is hard to tell, but if you look up close at the technique, what can you say? Oh. I didn't mean that. Because you said part of the shirt. Say it again. Oh. Is our part of the shirt? I like it. The dark part yeah. of the shirt looks very dimensional at a distance. Yeah. Okay. You said circle, so I was like, huh? it looks like did you want right? It does. It looks like more individual dot-like structure. Circles. Right, yeah. individual yeah. circles. Did you wrist hurt? And so your oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Hurt me and so Reggie, you know, I must say, you know, this is really okay. This is just listen carefully because this is not the technique that I want you to 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 get good at. However. It is successful and textural in its own way. Mm -hmm. It's what we might say a misinterpretation oh, of the okay. technique. However, very effective in its own right. So many students who do this incorrectly, the result is poor and not so good. Yours, however, because it's consistent throughout and the image itself is kind of riveting, uh, it's quite good. I suspect that if I were a better teacher than I am at this moment, which I'm going to be right now. I'm going to tell you. Go back. No. Go back, yes. How do you do it? And, it, and you're not going to do it again. You're going to just go over a little bit and flesh out some of the sort of uh, <laughs> pixelation that's here that makes it much more of a bende dot effect and less smooth. I would suggest that you do that. And in, in a minimal way, in a minimal way. Yes, yeah, you're going to smooth it out a little bit. And never be afraid, even in your dark spots, to go over one more time with another layer of dots. And again, it's a continual motion. This is what I want to show you. It's not this. Mm -hmm. It's awesome what you did. It's amazing, okay? It's amazing. And we're going to do a project you know soon like this. Right, now you're going to go over this with smaller dots, Reggie, and you're going to... Oh, continuously. Okay. Yeah. Continuous circles, one upon another. Small. small. Right, quite small, not large, because you're going to actually try to mediate these separate islands and make them much more of a land mass. That's okay. forever. That's forever? It's forever. What do you mean, that's forever? It's forever, forever. 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 to you. Yeah, it is forever. It's 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 forever. Really so you can do that, take a small amount of time to just go over that, um, and it makes it even stronger. Very nicely done, and an interesting message. Um, let's look at an additional piece then. Let's see, who can we call upon? Uh, let's look at uh, Chanel, could you please, other than your own good work, can we talk okay. about it? Um, uh, the beautiful one right here, yeah. this one.